So guys, welcome back, it's David here again, and here I'm gonna give you part two of my how to study for longer hours thing. And um, even if you haven't seen the first part, this is the most important part of the video. Um, now, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you a story here, and it's from a movie, and there's a lesson in this, and it perfectly sums up what I wanna tell you about how to overcome procrastination in your study work, or in anything in life, right? Absolutely anything in life. So, the movie is the Dark Knight Rises. It's the Batman movie. You may have seen it if you haven't. It doesn't really matter because I'll have to explain it for the story anyway. So, um, what the heck does Batman have to do with procrastination? Okay, well here it is. First thing you need to realize is, how does it tie in with you? If you're currently in school or in university, I have a question for you, okay? And the question is this, what is your biggest fear as a student? Okay, what is your biggest fear as a student? Um, I love asking this question to students because almost everyone I ask it to gets the wrong answer. Um, it's not things like failing exams. It's not, uh, you know, sitting exams. It's not um, fear of failure or blah, blah, blah. The biggest fear students have, and remember this, the biggest fear students have is that they don't study. They're afraid that they won't study, right? Think about it this way. If I could, if I met you and I could make, wave a magic wand and it meant that you would never procrastinate again in your study work, how would you feel? You'd probably be delighted, right? Because you'd be like, well, that's, that's like a load off my mind. Now I know I'll do the work that's necessary and I know that at least I'll try my very best. I can't do any more than that. So the anxiety comes in, the fear comes in for students with the fact that they're not sure whether or not they will study, right? So not studying is the biggest fear they have. Remember that because that ties in with something I'm gonna tell you about consequences. Introducing consequences for yourself if you don't follow through with your important study work. So back to the movie. The hero of the movie is Batman, right? Um, and he gets captured by the evil villain Bane and Bane puts him down in this underground prison. It's like a huge, big, deep well. Okay, it's got big uh, stone walls. And Bane, the bad guy, doesn't kill him straight away. Like uh, most of these uh, bad guys in movies, right? They don't just kill him straight away. They actually give, he gives, he gives him a chance to escape. Okay, so it's kind of a way of torturing him. So how does he escape this prison? How can he escape it? Well, the only option he has is he has to make a very dangerous climb up the walls of the prison. And it's very, very dangerous. Everybody, pretty much everybody that's ever done it before has died, okay? They've fallen to their death. So he's looking at me and he's thinking, well, I've got, to, I've got to at least try. I've got to try this climb because I can't stay here. So he tries it and he fails. So he says, well, there's something wrong. So he starts working out. He gets really, really strong and, and fit. And he tries it again and again and again. And he keeps failing, okay? He keeps falling. Now the thing about the climb is that it's da really dangerous and he can really hurt himself, but it's made a bit easier by the fact that he has a rope attached to him. Okay, so while he's on the climb, he even if he does fall, sure he'll get hurt, but he won't die because the rope will break his fall. So he does it with the rope several, several times and he always fails. So at this point, um, Bruce Wayne is really, really dejected. And he's thinking, I, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. I really do not know how I'm gonna get out of this. And he talks to another prisoner, an old man who is uh, in the cell next to him, I think. And the old man sees his problem before he does. And the old man says to him, he says, basically, there's nothing wrong with your body. You're fit enough to do this climb. You actually are capable of doing it. The problem is in your motivation. You're making the climb and you're not afraid. If you were really afraid, you would do it, right? You'd, you'd be more successful, you would be successful. So he says, he, can't, he comes up with a crazy plan. He says, how you're gonna get out of this is you're gonna do the climb, but you're gonna leave the rope behind. No safety net, okay? So Bruce Wayne decides, you know what? It's a crazy idea, but I've got no other option at this point. So he does the climb without the rope. And this time, he succeeds. Okay, this time he succeeds. Okay, so that's the story. 
Now, how does that tie in with you? It ties in with your life very, very well. And here's why. So your biggest fear as a student is not studying, right? And you have a sort of a climb to make in your life too. And because you're at the, you could say you're at the bottom of your own metaphorical well, right? You're at the bottom of a prison and you want to get to the top, which is your study, right? If it was easy, everyone would do it. So it is a challenge. It is a sort of a, a thing you have to overcome. And when you're on the journey, you feel afraid because uh, success is not guaranteed. Okay, you feel afraid, you feel uncertain, much like Batman did when he was attempting to climb, he was afraid. Now, when Batman was attempting to climb, when he was afraid, he used something to minimize his anxiety, which was the rope. Now, as a student, okay, here it is. As a student, when you're feeling anxious on your journey, on your, on your climb, when you feel anxious, you also use a rope. And the rope is this. You tell yourself, because you're not studying, I can do it later. You give yourself the option of doing it later. Now, what does that give you? You realize a lot, you're probably lying to yourself a bit, but that's not, in the moment when you say it, I can do it later, you actually minimize your anxiety. It, it makes you feel a bit better because you're not studying now, but in the future I will. So you feel a little bit better, right? Now, like in the story with Batman, that little thing that, that kept his anxiety down, helped him with his anxiety, was the one thing that actually kept him in the prison, okay? So I'm gonna suggest something to you, and you might think this is crazy, but I'm gonna suggest that like Batman, you throw away the rope. I'm gonna suggest that you throw away this idea that you can do it later on. And, and I'm going to, I'm not just gonna say that's how you do it, right? Just stop telling yourself you can do it later on. Here is the really important thing. There's a very practical way you can do that. And it involves introducing consequences to you saying that you can't or you're going to do it later on and then not following through. How do you do it? Here's how I do it, right? I set out a time for myself to study. Say when I come home from college or whatever, I'll set out a time for myself to study. We'll say seven o'clock. So I'll say, okay, seven o'clock I'm going to study. I'm going to sit down and as I've been saying in my other videos, I only ever say half an hour plus whatever else I want to do. Make it easy for myself. Now, here is the thing. If I don't show up at seven o'clock for the study session, I don't have the rope anymore, okay? I know that if I don't show up, the option of doing it later on, that's that's gone, right? You've thrown that the rope away. That doesn't exist. So I either show up at seven o'clock and study, or I don't. And the consequence is, much like Batman, his consequence was he would die, right? He'd fall without the rope. Yours is your biggest fear comes true. And your biggest fear is that you won't study. So after procrastinating, the, the fear comes true. And how it comes true is you set yourself like I'm no longer allowed to study now for the rest of the evening, okay? So that is the one thing that changed me from being a procrastinator to an ex-procrastinator. Now I never procrastinate. I literally never procrastinate in work. And I mean that all in all honesty. I haven't procrastinated in work for years, okay? And I've succeeded in, I'm not bragging here or anything, but like I know I've, I've accomplished all the goals I wanted to in, in the academic side of things. So, when I say I'm gonna study, I know it's true. Because if I don't, I lose the right to study later on. It's now or never, okay? It's either do or die, basically. Now, when you start trying this approach, this is what happened to me the first time I tried this. The first day, I procrastinated. And I had the, the, the foresight or the, I stuck to the plan, basically. And I said, you know what? I procrastinated there, there is no later on. So um, I'm not gonna study now for the rest of the day. And the next day I showed up and I procrastinated again, I procrastinated again. And at that point, something changed in my mind. A message had gotten through to my subconscious mind that you know what, this guy means business. There are consequences if we don't show up when he says we should, okay? And it might take you a few days. It might, it might take you maybe three days. But eventually, if you follow through with what I'm telling you here, the message gets through to your mind that this person is, is to be taken seriously, okay? So, what happens then is that if you show up for the study session, you do it, 
and then however long it is and then you set another one for yourself and the same thing applies and you just keep going with rolling start times like that okay and you as soon as you procrastinate once you're done for the day you can't lose with this approach two one of two things will happen you'll either show up and do a lot of work or you won't show up but you stop kidding yourself that you're going to do later on and you have the rest of the evening entirely free with no indecision in your mind it's the indecision that really takes all the energy out of you and it makes it very very stressful so to recap this is the approach this is what i do this is the biggest secret i have i set a time for myself to study if i don't show up for it i i i, I cannot do it later on the have to or I, I can do it later option is totally gone for me the fear has come back right and i control the fear i make the fear work for me now and you don't want to do it the other way around where you keep putting off the fear and the fear comes at you like a freight train in about six months time in the form of an exam paper or a report card okay you want to use that fear for yourself so that's it that is the biggest life-changing insight i have um, from my time in university and college give that a go and i really would love to know what you think of that okay because trust me that one has changed my life so have a go guys um i'll be making more videos on this to explain it a bit more because i bet there'll be a lot of questions and people misunderstanding that so subscribe below for um i think it's down here or here whichever side the red button um comment below let me know how it's going for you and like this one as well and uh, i will talk to you guys soon